Hey everyone, welcome back to Factorio episode 3. I'm Nog, and we have basically uh, come in uh, directly where we left off. The only thing that has happened is we've had a biter attack over here, we've had a biter attack over here, and I extended the iron smelting a little bit. That's all that's happened, and uh, the reason I've done a little bit offline is because it was dark and I didn't want to start an episode on uh, while it was dark, so... Uh, that's basically it. I also handcrafted a couple of turrets because these turrets down here they got quite damaged uh, from the attack. So we'll give a little bit more protection down here because these uh, by starter biters are pretty determined to make life miserable for us, uh, which isn't very nice of them, but it's the way it is. So I think uh, in this episode we're going to try and get a little bit more automation going. And the first thing I really want automated is uh, some science. So I think we'll go, go ahead and do that. But first things first, let's just get some more iron ore uh, miners down here. Because we are not producing enough to keep our uh, furnaces uh, fed. So, a couple more there, it's probably still not enough, but uh, we'll see. What we want to do is we want some more assemblers and we're going to need some copper and some iron for that. And we are going to make as many as we can, as we need, to set up a... Uh, Let's say, a, call it a real um, uh, science uh, production. So, how many do we have here? Two, four, six, eight. We need 24 on each side. So, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh. Uh, we're going to have to pick these up and put them back down immediately. Because being without defense here is not a good thing. So how, was, how many was that? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So our smelting line will actually go all the way to out there. Because uh, one full belt can support 48 miners. So 24 on each side of the belt. All right. And we're going to have to build upwards. Maybe it would be a good idea, but actually, before we start doing this, to get some defenses ready. Because this is going to be getting close to the biters which uh, is going to prompt them to attack us uh, quite a bit, I'm guessing. And we're going to have to go clear up out that nest for, uh, pretty soon because that's just not okay that they are attacking us like that. We do not appreciate it. So we want a splitter here. We do need way, way more iron production. Uh, Let's get 10 more miners. And I think if we start our uh, our bus around here, we will build on the north side of, of the of the bus line and that will be fine. Generally it's good to build on only one side of your bus because you're going to want to expand your bus uh, to, to one side to uh, have more and more lines of, uh, of stuff going. So building on one side will let you do that without having to pick up everything uh, all the time. So let's put that down and we want four lines of iron two holes between, four lines of copper, 
There are probably a couple of lines of green circuits, uh, which we don't really need yet. This is just placeholders. Uh, just so I can see it. So that's how many is that? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. I think we'll probably do like this, just for kicks. I don't know if we actually need that many lines, but we'll see. We'll find out. So there, go up there, and we will start making our red science up here. And for red science, we need one copper plate and one iron gear wheel. So that is pretty easy. And an iron gear wheel, oh, that's over here as well. Uh, we produce one iron gear wheel every half second, and it takes two iron plate. So we want to produce one science every second. Is it one gear wheel or is it two? I actually think it's two. Uh, let's just test it. All right, gear wheel and a bit of belt and an inserter. And we want to bring our power out here anyway, so we might as well just do that. And we don't want it on this side because then we're running on the si same side as we want the iron to flow so there it is one iron gear wheel so in order to produce an iron gear wheel a second we just need uh, two of these all right we can do that not a problem so we'll put the iron gear wheels there and run this up here. I actually don't want this inserter here. I want it like that. And we'll come out here and we'll run up and we will put down five more machines. Uh, we'll just leave one gap here. Three, four, five. And that will be the ones making red uh, science. And what we'll do is we'll run copper on one side and uh, iron gear wheels on the other. And we want an output, which I think will run downwards. Yeah. Or what? Attack, attack, attack. Die, 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 die. Right. Good, they're dead. And let's put some power down for these guys so they can start producing. Uh, where do I want to put these? I want to put them here. It's a little bit annoying with the small power poles because they are they have a very short reach. Uh, it's a little bit better when you get to the um, uh, to the bigger uh, medium power poles because they uh, they have a longer reach and we don't need to uh, have as many of them. All right, so this is all going. Let's uh, we need more we need more defense more defense um, well, let's just make all four of those and we need to bring out some copper and oops we want it to come in here And we want it to go into that line. So let's do that, that, and 
that. Now we have those go that going, and we will put it on the other side of, of this belt. The inserters will always put out on the far away side of the belt, and they will always pick up on the closer side of the belt if there is material there that they need. Oh, let's copy this, and let's make these red science there. And we will need some more labs, but uh, we'll get that done soon enough. And we will put just some uh, some defenses down here. There. So we're defending ourselves, and we want some more inserters, which we can make, but not a whole lot. We can actually grab some of this stuff up here, then we don't need to make iron gear wheels. Alright. And get these guys going, making our red science. And red science produces in five seconds, so we have five machines, which means uh, one a second. More or less. Uh, I think, I don't remember what the crafting speed is on uh, assembling machine ones. It's only a half, so it's actually one every two seconds. But once we upgrade to assembling machines twos, we will we'll be there. We don't need all this. There. And there you go. They are already attacking us. Let's, um, let's craft these labs. And just go grab the other lab here. Uh, and we are almost there, getting our red science up and running. Which is nice, which means that we'll be getting objects as well, so we'll be able to see what's going on in the night time as well. We definitely need more miners, both on the copper and on the iron ore, and probably on the coal soon as well. How are we doing power-wise? Uh, we're okay for now. We're producing about twice as much as we're, or we're capable of producing about twice as much as we, we need, so we're, we're good on that for a little while. And I do mean a little while. Um, where do we want to put? I think we'll put put the. Um, hmm, how far is it up there? It's far, reasonably far. So let's put the labs out here at the end. We will put down the defenses again immediately, and. Give them their ammo back. And we'll just clear up some of these trees because they are probably going to get in the way. And we will put down some science labs here. We will put it down like that. There. Run this up here and get some inserters down. Get some power down. There. And get it hooked up. And there. We are sciencing automatically with the red science. Let's, uh, let's get electronics and start research of that. And then start the search of fast inserters. Oh, we don't have the queue. That's fine. We'll just do electronics first and then do the uh, fast inserters. And then I think we'll go into green science. We, I think we can live for a little bit longer without uh, researching better ammo and uh, or better bullet damage and stuff like that. I think we can. So there we go. That's red science going. Mm -hmm. 
Very nice, very nice. Let's build some more miners. Oh, we have 10 miners. We want to build more. And we want to put down the 10 miners that we have so that we keep our production as high as possible of the, both the iron ore and, or iron plates and iron uh, copper plates, sorry. So let's get these guys going like that. And I think we will start up on another line. You can see the catchment area of these miners. It actually goes one field outside, or one tile outside uh, the area that they're actually on. So we can uh, put them one in from, from where the uh, ore begins. Oops. Which we're not going to do. <laughs> But we could, if we wanted to. So let's do like this. Get this belt going. And we'll just put a splitter in here. And get them on the same. And there we have quite a bit more iron ore production. And let's get some more copper ore production as well. We only have three mining drills on the, on the copper so you could definitely do with some more of that but we don't need as much copper in the beginning as we do uh, iron so six should probably be enough for now all right that was electronics and then we'll do fast inserters and then we'll do green science so we can get that up and running as well that will be very nice to do Okay, and we have a lot of transport belts, we have a lot of ammo, that is very very nice. And let's just clear out our inventory a little bit, just clean it up, so we don't have these raw resources that we don't really need. Do we have more? We do have more, but we're not producing enough. Or anyway, so it doesn't matter. Just hook up the rest of it. Oh, we, did, we got lights, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So let's um, let's just handcraft some lights because I want to get those down so we the, so that we can see what we're doing at all times. Hopefully, so let's make a bunch of lights, and over here we will put some lights down. And up here as well. Let's just for our sanity's sake put the lights on the same side of the poles. All right. Okay, this episode is going much, much better than the last one. The last one was pretty much a disaster. Uh, but. This is uh, this seems like uh, it's going uh, quite a bit better, and the biters are attacking, but we are actually able to defend ourselves this time, which is uh, uh, good to see. And we'll make some more science labs. All right, that was fast inserters. Let's get the logistic science pack or the green science pack, as it's traditionally called, and we'll get green science set up in the next episode. I think we made some good progress here, so uh, thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.